This video will show how to determine the greatest common factor of two or three integers to help factor out the greatest common factor from the given expressions. The greatest common factor of two or more integers is the largest positive integer that divides each of the integers. The GCF is also known as the greatest common divisor, or GCD. And the TID4 can only find the GCF of two numbers at a time using the GCD command. So looking at the first example, we want to factor out the greatest common factor from the expression 60x minus 72. And since the two terms don't have any variable factors in common, the greatest common factor is going to be the greatest common factor between 60 and 72, or 60 and negative 72. So let's go to the TID4 and determine the greatest common factor. We press math, right arrow wants to number. We want to use the GCD command, which is the greatest common divisor, we can arrow down to number nine, or just press nine, and then we enter 60, comma, then negative or positive 72. I will just enter 72, close parenthesis, and enter. The greatest common factor, or greatest common divisor, is 12. And again, there are no variable factors in common between these two terms, and therefore we now have to factor out 12 from the expression. Before we do this though, let's write both of the terms as products with the GCF of 12. We can write 60x as 12 times 5x minus, we can write 72 as 12 times 6. If we didn't know 12 times 5 was equal to 60, we could take 60 and divide by 12, which would give us 5. And the same thing here, if we didn't know 12 times 6 was 72, we could take 72 and divide by 12, which would give us six. But now that we have the terms written as a product using the GCF, we will now factor out the GCF, which again is 12. So if we factor out 12, we're left with 12 times the quantity, five x minus six, and we've now factored out the greatest common factor from the expression. Next, we're asked to factor out the greatest common factor from 56 x to the 15th plus 32 x to the 10th, plus 24x to the fifth. The graphing calculator is not going to help us determine the variable factors of the greatest common factor, but it will help us determine the greatest common factor of the coefficients of 56, 32, and 24. So let's start with that. Remember the TID4 can only find the GCF of two terms at a time using the GCD command. So to find the GCF of three numbers, we'll have to enter this in a different way. We press math, right arrow once, number nine, and then we're gonna do the same thing again. So we'll press math, right arrow, number nine. And now we'll enter the first two coefficients of 56, comma, 32. And then a close parenthesis, comma, and now we'll enter the third coefficient of 24. Close parenthesis and enter. So the greatest common divisor or greatest common factor of the coefficients is eight, which is part of the GCF. And now looking at the variable factors, the first term has 15 factors of x, the second term has 10 factors of x, the third term has five factors of x. They all have five factors of x in common, and therefore x to the fifth is part of the greatest common factor. And now let's write each of the terms as a product using eight x to the fifth. 56 x to the 15th is equal to eight x to the fifth times seven x to the 10th plus 32 x to the 10th is equal to eight x to the fifth times four x to the fifth plus 24 x to the fifth is equal to eight x to the fifth times three. So now we will factor out the greatest common factor of eight x to the fifth from each of the terms, which gives us eight x to the fifth times the quantity seven x to the 10th plus four x to the fifth plus three. I hope you found this helpful.